Dutch Pen Show 2022 Aftermath or how I almost lost 200,000 euros worth of fountain pens in this trip. Mmm, I just love to start my videos with a coffee. But anyway, we're not here for the coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, David from Penventure. Welcome to the aftermath of the Dutch Pen Show 2023. It's been a blast. I almost had time to record this video uh, in this weekend. So when you see this video, it's almost the day that I recorded it because I have been struggling to catch up with all of your emails, with all of the things that were left because we were gone like almost a week. This is gonna be a video that I will use my full skills of storytelling to tell you what happened because I couldn't have time to make too many photographs. But I'm gonna use the photographs from other people and I'm gonna give them credit as well. But anyway, what happened at the Dutch Pen Show? Well, it happened, like always, something really, really good. An amazing social event. I met so many friends, I met so many of you that are uh, subscribers of the channel and you guys and girls and everyone who drop by and say hi charge my batteries for an entire year. Anyway, I'm gonna go through some of the things that uh, happened and uh, some of the interactions that I had and I will for sure forget some people, some names and please, please excuse me for that. I'm gonna try my best but I'm limited because it happened so much in so little of a time and uh, yeah i'm gonna forget some of you out there but if you were at the show if we've met please use the comment section down below and let me know uh this and uh, let's continue our discussion there big big thank you to you all you were amazing we uh packed all of the fountain baths because it's like traveling with kids I was like, I'm not going to pack too many fountain pads. Well, I packed the entire store in two big luggage cases, two smaller ones that I took in the airplane and two backpacks. The surprise helper, the surprise wingman was my mom. And this is the first time that she's traveling with me at the show. And to be honest, the entire uh, experience for her was like, who are you? Who am I gave birth to? Two, I didn't know you were so popular. Well, I'm not. We are from Romania, which is a small country in Eastern Europe. Uh, I'm from the north part of the country, which is a location which is known for touristic attractions. So it's not a large city. I'm not accustomed to being famous or something like this, but almost over 50, 80 people dropped by our table and said, I know you from your videos. And my mom was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Am I living uh, in my family with a superstar, a TV star? I don't know who you are. I don't know what's going on. She was very, very friendly and she was so impressed by the community aspect and how warm you guys and girls were with her. And I am super happy that you showed this uh, to her. And uh, right now she came home and she said, hmm, you're doing something right. You're working with passionate uh, individuals and with passionate people around you and you're surrounded by friends and this is something that I want to take and to put in my business as well. So she has a, a window curtains store and she is manufacturing curtains for um, hotels, for people's homes. And she was like, yeah, I'm passionate about this but I need to express it more and more because I've seen you have so many good friends and people that support you and I want to have that sort of a connection with my customers as well. So yeah, it was a lot to take in. So we packed the entire store, we traveled, it was tiring because we had to fly from Suchava, the local airport, to Eindhoven in Holland and from Eindhoven we had to catch a train to Ultrek the location of the the pen show at the hotel van der Valk, just like last year and i believe the year prior to that and the organization of the show was 
top notch. So everyone who participated had fun and I want to say a big thank you to Jostad Applebaum, Catherine from Chakrafant Van Gallery, also to Frank from Fronto Plumo, uh, PV Ackerman, the store, and pretty much everyone who organized the show. I have two girls that I simply like a lot, Christine and Ine. They were wonderful to see after so much time because last year I believe we said pass. And also with us, we traveled with some of the friends from Romania, which are also partners of ours. And we exchange merchandise and they have a store which is uh, online and physical in Romania. Uh, the guys from uh, Penthouse, they had a table next to us and it was their first experience and us and them, we worked together and we wanted to see the atmosphere of a very good pen show because in the future, maybe we will have a Romanian pen show. You might as well be my and our guests. Anyway, uh, we arrived at the, the hotel. Everything was organized very well. Very strange is the check-in hour, which was around three o'clock in the afternoon. So, hmm, I have to say this is the first time in my life that I've seen a hotel checking in at three o'clock in the afternoon. So we arrived around, I believe, uh, 11 o'clock uh, noon-ish or something like this. And I've met with Tom Sherwood from Spain, a good friend of mine, a customer, and we had a lot of fun. And uh, it's the first time that we've seen in person after so much uh, collaborations together. And it was wonderful. Uh, then we've met with our friends. They drove with the car, we flew with the airplane. So. It was a very, very good start to say so. And we left our luggages, we got in the city, we had some fun, we ate. Uh, we've seen some, some pretty, pretty awesome Dutch architecture. And uh, then we came back to the hotel because usually in the lobby at night, the pen pack of passionate people, it's gathering around tables and yeah, that was awesome. I've met with so many great, great people and friends of ours. I've met with um, Ben Walsh from Gravitas. We are working on something super, super cool very soon. I'm going to show you also very soon what I got from the show, both of his gifts and what I've brought home with me as well and everything. But you have to have a little bit of patience. I've met with uh, John Foy wonderful friend of ours. He was not uh, exhibiting at the show, but only visiting and uh, he made a very good remark and I don't know yet how to take this. So he told me that, Amy, your mom looks younger than you. So yeah, I'm gonna take that as a compliment, even for me and even for her. So <laughs> it's, been, it's been so fun. So thank you, John, for that compliment. Uh, yeah, I'm getting old, all right. It's bound to happen. I met with Markus Biela, who is a very good friend of mine from Germany. He came to the show. He purchased himself from our table a wonderful double broad scribble feel. And uh, I, I had a pleasure to adjust that nib to be very wet and very, very juicy. So Markus, I hope you enjoy that pan and keep me posted with your feedback as well. Also, uh, I've seen Edmond, the photographer, and some of the pictures that you will see right in this uh, video will be courtesy of him. And uh, I hope I can use them. So thank you, Edmond, for uh, snapping those pictures. And uh, thank you for documenting this incredible social experience. Um, I met with the guys from Kenro from USA. It was awesome to see some of their fountain pens. So they bring some crazy Montegrappa pants. I love what they do and probably in the future we will have more regarding uh, this friendship for everyone. And also uh, I've met with Kame uh, and uh, it was wonderful. He and his wife uh, and Kame is a big, big fan of Delta fountain pants and he showed me a very special Delta fountain pen that he and uh, some people put together and by some people, I believe Ciro Matrone. And Leonardo. Of course, I've met with Tom Westerick and uh, we discussed a few things regarding celluloids and fountain pens and all of that. Uh, Michael from Germany, good friend of ours, and uh, it's, it's, it's like seeing someone from my childhood. So much emotions, so much good time, 
and I, it, it's, it's wonderful to be surrounded with such friends. Mikal from Tamenuri Studio, he had a table next to us. I've seen some impressive, impressive Urushi works on his table. He was dressed like a Japanese Urushi artist with the kimono stuff and he, he was in the picture right there. So he captured the spirit very, very well. Let's see, mm, Yos from Appleboom dropped by, we had some fun. Uh, we had some jokes, me and him are always, always joking and poking each other and stuff like this. So it's fun to, to get a hold and see him once a year, but I think I will visit his store in Larn very, very soon. The Applebone store and probably will have some videos regarding this. I'm sorry that I couldn't document everything. And uh, let's see, who have I been seeing at the show? So I met with a very, a very special person. His name is Dr. Lois, and I'm reading this from his business card, Loisos Prastitis, and um, he's from Cyprus, not Greece, Cyprus. And uh, he is a wonderful person, and uh, it's, it's a shame that I couldn't spend more time with him. So from him, I received the special gift and it's a bottle of spirit that uh, I've used it. I know that's forbidden to drive under the influence, but write under the influence, not. So I may be guilty of writing under the influence, but anyway, it was uh, something local, something that he picked up from uh, the duty free and uh, thank you so, so much, my good friend. And he purchased himself a very fine sailor ebonite sculpture with a broad point that wrote very, very nice. We've brought sailor, we've brought Leonardo pretty much in every single color, in every single nib size, in every single trim color, you name it. We had it on our table. Thank you so much for the trust. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for understanding that it was a busy time and uh, I could spend some time with some of you regardless uh, how everything uh, was evolving around the table. So thank you for understanding all of that. Thank you for your support. And for sure in 2024, we will have another Dutch pan show that we can confirm and we will be there. Anyway, and let's see. Mm, I had a nice lady who dropped by and acquired a Visconti Homo Sapiens demo stones and she's from my YouTube channel. I got a lot of comments from her and it was awesome. I adjusted that fountain pen for her to the best of my ability and she was very, very happy with her purchase. Uh, we've sold some sailor fountain pens uh, and all of the sales that happened uh, was amazing because each and every single person was knowing of myself in some way and it was very nice to connect each other and to share some thoughts and to explore some fountain pens. Also to Mr. Robert from Germany, thank you so much. He made the first purchase at our table and he purchased himself a very fine 1930 extra bamboo, that black and green one, Mwah. stunning. And also he wanted to have my Aurora Ochani, which was selling on our consignment section. There were another lady Oh, many ladies who dropped on our table and she gave me a very, very fun gift. And I've got this incredible kit, a uh, chromatography kit with some butterflies and baby Emily went through this. So we may find the butterflies or not, but anyway, yeah, they are here. So this is what's left from them. Uh, and I even told her, Emily, please, daddy needs to do a video regarding this and to say a big thank you to everyone. She was like, yeah, five minutes later, uh, the butterflies were uh, taken out. So it's gonna be fun to have this sort of a project with uh, my daughter, baby Emily, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. So thank you so much. If you're seeing this, please comment down below because I want to say a big thank you and I'm honored to see how much love do I get for uh, the, the content that I present on my YouTube channel. So this is something very, very special. It's a notebook and I was shocked to see how beautiful it is. And I'm gonna cherish this and I haven't let baby Emily to get inside and uh, have 
her way through it. So it's just like the jeans and it's, it's from Japan, uh, from what I see. And it's very well organized. It looks very, very nice. And I cannot wait to have it in my rotation with this beautiful cream paper. And it's, it's, it's gonna be a treat, to be honest. And uh, thank you, thank you so, so much for this. Also, I got a kit for calligraphy and it's right here, Suzanne Cunningham. And uh, it's a kit for uh, some Spencerian and flourishings and how to do them and all of that. And I am going to practice my calligraphy. I do have a nice handwriting, but that is not going to stop me from practicing more and more. So I'm gonna do that a lot and I will hope that one day I will present some very nice handwriting to you all. Mikal from Tamenori Studio, who gave me as a gift this wrap, which was made by him. And it is a lifesaver because I could take inside some of my special fountain pens with me in, the, in my backpack that I didn't want it to travel uh, with the airplane uh, at a luggage. I didn't almost brought the entire store. I even went as far as bringing the entire collection of writing instruments, my writing instruments, with a lot of expensive writing instruments. And I don't know if it was good or bad, but you will see that there are some good parts and some bad parts regarding that. Jose from Nib Lab, we've met and uh, he was with a special person and that special person acquired a phone band from us and I was very happy that I was able to see my friends and to enjoy time spent with them and uh, every everyone at the show was wonderful. I almost forgot Vanessa traveled from USA, Texas, if I'm not mistaken, for the Dutch Pen Show and you know Vanessa. Vanessa, Vanessa it's, a, it's a celebrity. She is a celebrity, not me. She is a celebrity in the phone panel world. I'm just a humble guy coming from a small country in Eastern Europe. When she came, I believe she was coming with her private jet. And <laughs> Vanessa, if you're seeing this, sorry, I couldn't help myself. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's see. What did I got as phone fans from the show? First of all, I haven't purchased anything, but even when I am going to a show and I don't have time to purchase fountain pens, some made their way to me. This was one of those times and courtesy of Mr. Ben Walsh, I got two Ultimate Vac fountain pens. So have a look at this. This is a gorgeous demonstrator fountain pen. I, I believe it looks stunning. I fall in love with this fountain pen ever since I've seen it in some pictures on his phone when we've met last time. And I said, Ben, 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 I want this, I want this. Today, right now, I have it. This is a steel extra fine point. This is a special nib, a proprietary to Gravitas. Amazing steel nib, amazing. Uh, if you want to watch a video review for this fountain pass, let me know and I will arrange one for you all. Also, me and Ben have something cooking. I have a yellow one as well, which is inked up with Hiroshizuku Yuyaki, if I'm not mistaken. And this has a flex nib with one of those crazy feeders from Gravitas. So this is the two fountain pens that made it to my collection. And we will soon have a video review for these two fountain pens. And I will see how we will have them introduced in my fun van collection. Now, let's go and discuss how I almost lost 200,000 plus worth of fountain pens. So, it was the last day, we packed up everything and uh, the guys that were in the lobby uh, at the reception told us that, uh, hey, be careful because trains are delayed and there are some uh, strikes, stuff like this. So. It's not working properly, so you might find your way much more sooner to the train station because there will be delays. So we set off to catch a train from Ultrak to Eindhoven. As we were going, someone from the show told us that 
have no worries at the airport because at the airport it's a very small airport there is no luggage control or it's minimal luggage control and all of that and every single time that i'm traveling with fountain pens i am anxiously waiting the control of the luggage because i have a lot of explanation to give so i was fairly prepared anyway uh, we arrived at the airport and at the airport, I go through security and at the first gentleman at the security, I say, I'm traveling with a lot of fountain pens. They are uh, my collection of writing instruments that I take with me. And if you're gonna see something on x-ray, which is gonna look strange, please wait for me and I will open everything, show you everything, tell you everything. And he was like, very cool story, but I'm not the guy that you need to tell this the story. I'm just here for putting the luggages on the, the conveyor belt so you need to tell that to my colleague and i say okay i go forward and i see that i'm checked i'm screened and everything and cool 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 and i arrive at the desk and uh, i can almost spot that my luggage was like ooh, changing the conveyor belt with the luggages that's going to be controlled so this is usual from this standpoint i'm used with this because uh, i've been traveling a lot with my fountain pants and uh, one very, very nice gentleman takes our bags, mine and my mom, and she was like, okay, let's go to that desk, and we go there, and he's gonna ask us, well, have you packed your bags? Yes. Do you know what's inside? Yes. Can I check? Yes, of course. And I start to tell my story. I'm coming from the Dutch Pan Show. I'm an exhibitor. Uh, I'm a retailer. Uh, I'm a collector of writing instruments, fine writing instruments. Uh, everything that's from the store I took uh, and put in my luggage and leave it at the check-in control, something like this. Uh, and what I have in my bag is my personal possessions, my, my fountain pants, which are fairly expensive and I would like to travel with them in the airplane. And uh, he was like, very, very nice. He opened my cases and he was like, how much is this? And he picks up one of the most rarest fountain pants in that case. It was the uh, one of the Maquille fountain pens, something from Danny Trio. And I say to him like, that's around six, seven, eight thousand, ten thousand, depending on the market. And we're like, hoo, hoo, hoo. we may have a problem because this is just like art. And we're trying to be very vigilant in regards of uh, money laundering and stuff like this. And we're like, OK, understandable. And he calls for his colleague and his colleague uh, starts to ask us a few questions. First of all, where are you traveling? And I say, to Suchava. Suchava. And we're like, hmm, never heard of this country. And I say, it's not a country, it's a city, Suchava, in Romania. Okay, yeah, we're gonna call for customs. Never done this before, but I've seen a lot of border control documentaries, so yeah, it's gonna be a lot of talking. Anyway, uh, we took our bags, we have a seat, and we were waiting for the customs. And uh, it was like maybe 15, 20 minutes. Our flight was departing in around 50 minutes from that point. And I, I tried to stay composed and not to stress or anything because I haven't done anything wrong. Okay, so I see a gentleman and a lady coming from the custom office, uh, greeted us and told us to follow him and her and we went into an interrogation room and from here it's just like a movie with a stainless steel desk and we put our luggages on the desk and he was like okay you need to open up and we need to talk open everything i showed everything so this is my phone this is this 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 and the gentleman was having a tablet he was reading something from the tablet and he told us that well this is very expensive how much do you think everything costs and i was like hmm, a lot a lot and he was like Ooh, that's a lot that's a lot to take in so do you have any proof of uh, ownership of this found fence and i said well i do have but i don't have with me uh, anyway, this is purchased with a card, with the bank transfers. This is my fountain pass. I can prove everything. We already took out the phone and looking for some invoices just to show him that it's going to exist, this documentation and all of that. And um, he was like, okay, 
show me a proof that you left Romania with them. Ooh, oopsie, I don't have that. Uh, I don't have that because it's EU country, Romania, and I traveled in another EU country, Holland, when there is no traveling outside of the EU. I wasn't supposed to declare anything. I pulled the phone, I showed the YouTube channel, I showed the Instagram channel. Uh, this is me, this is what I do, this is my fountain pens, I'm traveling for my show, uh, we've met with a lot of friends there, this and that and that. I show pictures from the show, I show from the table. Okay, can we have a proof that this was yours prior to entering here? And I said, yes, I do have a picture with everything because as I was packing along, I did some pictures. Oh, great. And then the gentleman looks at me and says, you know, we have a lot of information regarding you that you're traveling outside of EU countries. And I was like, hmm, I can't remember. I don't know. I, I haven't traveled outside. And he was like, hmm, now you're traveling to Serbia. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Say that one more time. Now you're traveling to Serbia in the capital city of Serbia? No, this has to be a mistake because we are not traveling outside of the EU uh, and outside of our native country, Romania. And then on the spot, I noticed when I told the initial person at the security check that I'm traveling to Suchava, it was noisy and all of that, and he understood Serbia. And that was the mistake that almost cost me the entire lineup of fountain pens and missing my flight. Once we agreed on that, we ended up taking a lot of pictures to my fountain pens. I showed him the channel. I told him, you must subscribe to my channel because he was writing with a big pen. And I said, if you subscribe to the channel and let me know, I'm going to send you a very fine ballpoint pen and it's a gift from us thank you so much for understanding everything and uh, next time we will bring some documentation along with the founder pens even when we travel to countries of eu anyway that's the aftermath of the pen show great organization we had a lot of fun i am sure that i missed on uh, a lot of people that dropped on our table if you dropped by our table let me know in the comment section down below thank you for being so friendly uh, probably uh, next time we will have the london band show on the list and i'm not completely sure that i'm gonna come as a exhibitor i want to travel and to have fun with you all and to stay up late at the bar till five o'clock in the morning to talk fountain pens and to meet all of you and to have fun with all of you and to spend some money purchasing some fountain pens from everyone and this video is going to be long 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 so we need to just simply cut here and that's enough thank you so so much for the social experience of the dutch pen show top-notch organization and the show was a blast if you scroll down you'll find the details for our website we are in full operation if you're looking for an next writing instrument go down below check our website if you see something interesting purchase it from pen venture and i'll be sure to handle everything with great care also you'll find my contact details down below and uh, you can write me emails you can ask me everything i need to catch up with my emails from the pen show with uh, answering everyone don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up this will help me a lot with the youtube algorithm if you're not subscribed subscribe right now just click there turn the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content speaking about content if you want to continue watching my videos I'm gonna leave this right here you can click and enjoy as always Dutch Pencil 2022 aftermath it's done see you around bye